I really don't want to vlog in public. Ah! But I want you to come with me. Ah! I'm gonna go outside and then come back. That should be it. Like, why is it, does it need to be any more complicated than that? I'm a nightmare. I think this is a nightmare. <laughs> Look at that. We really worked through something there. Thanks for coming with me. That hurts my leg. Hello. Uh, it's Thursday the 21st of December. It's my last working day of the year and I saved it until now to try and do my videos. I finished my clients, my meetings and my calls yesterday. So that really felt like the end of the working year and now I'm trying to get myself to work today. And it's just not really happening. I had some ideas earlier and I was just gonna come straight up here and record them, but then I just didn't. I thought, you know what? It's been a really long time since I did the more vloggy style video with you. So let's just see where the next few hours take us, shall we? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go for a walk together. I'm not walking very well because my hip hurts a lot. I've done a lot of sitting over the last couple of days, but I sit in a weird way and I think I've done something to my hip. Oh dear. Anyway, should probably go stretch it out. Um, we're going to go for a walk. I need to get over the fact that I don't want to vlog in public. Oh, I really don't want to vlog in public. Ah! But I want you to come with me. Ah! Let's just leave the house and see where we get to. I'm just going to give you some unfiltered thoughts, to be honest. So let's just go for it, see what happens. And yes, that was me putting on the jazziest coat known to man and then realising I should put my salad in the bin before I leave and just doing that instead. Shoes. Current things I'm thinking about, I'll be honest. Not putting the shoe on the counter, because that's not where shoes belong. Uh, making a packing list of things to go to my sister's for Christmas. The fact that I was really hoping the last couple of weeks to get ahead of my YouTube schedule, i.e. recording videos, so I don't just do it on a whim. But I was ill for a week, and you know what? You just gotta accept that sometimes, right? Sometimes that ain't be the way the cookie crumbles. Struggling to undo the shoelace. Now wondering if anybody's really gonna be interested in any of this content. Now I'm thinking about how I tie my- I'm just- just tie your shoelace! I'll be honest, what I actually spent the last hour doing was looking at my journal entries from the start of this year and then thinking about where I'm at right now. But I just don't have any fully formed thoughts on that to want to share it and I also get into this habit of whenever I try and have a reflective moment to myself I'm then like this can be a video and sometimes it just takes away from me actually having my own time so I'm not going to talk about that today but maybe I will in future shall we make a coffee for the journey? I think so it's weirdly dark in here because we currently have two light bulbs out that we need to sort out I should probably write that down I'm not gonna oh this is fun I ordered a Gail's uh coffee and cake this morning. I haven't eaten the cake yet. Well, sorry, I had a bite of it and then realised it isn't really what I wanted. However, I came to say, matches my coat on my face. <laughs> Do I want that now? Undecided. Let's make a coffee. Not in a mug because we're going outside. Now I don't even know if I want to go outside. Go outside. Maybe I'll have the coffee when I come back. I wish this was a live stream because I just want you to tell me what to do. Maybe we need to do, maybe we need to do a, some kind of live where you can just, oh my god. Oh, that would be fun, like decide what I do all day. Oh, okay, looking for a cup to put coffee in, but not sure if I even want it, but feel like it would be nice to have something for the journey. But then I've also got to carry the camera. Fuck it. Oh, see, you know what happened then? That was me. Look, I love this coat. I am who I am. No shame. However. The thought of me with a coffee in one hand, a vlogging camera in the other, wearing this coat, wandering around the park, I just think I would look like, for want of a better phrase, a bit of a knobhead. Um, so how I feel about that is undecided. Well, it's not. How I feel about that is clear. But whether we're going to do anything anyway, like just decide that we're just going to do it anyway, is, is you, you'll soon find out. I'm not being funny, but look how windy it is. Can you even hear me in this wind? Actually, it's not that bad, is it? Is it bad? Let's face it, that's probably just me looking for excuses to not go outside because I don't want to vlog outside. And you know what? If this is a lesson in anything, it's that you don't have to do anything that you don't want to do if it's relatively inconsequential. So we're not going to do that. I'm going to go for a walk without you and then I'll come back and share some thoughts. Delightful, let's do that. Honestly, do you ever just find yourself excruciating? Because immediately after I said that, I then was like, you know what I could do? I could cycle on my indoor bike. 
and I could talk because I'll be act doing active stuff but talking about stuff and I'm like no I should go outside cool well how about you just go outside right now like don't even make a coffee okay well we'll stop making a coffee and then that would also help because if I want to cycle once I've come back from a walk I won't want to do that on a full stomach of coffee and I just I feel I think that I'm a nightmare I think this is a nightmare Maybe you watch The Good Place. I feel like um, sometimes having ADHD is like being in your own purgatory of indecision over inconsequential things. That's it, full stop. I was going to say more, but that's it, really. I'm going to go outside and then come back. That should be it. Like, why is, does it doesn't need to be any more complicated than that? Is there anywhere that I need to go so at least there is a purpose? And that, we're not deciding that right now, it seems. Okay, this is what I'm about to do. And this is what's going to happen. I'm gonna make a glass of water. We're gonna make it now. Glass of water being made. Glass of water being made. Oh, shit. We're drinking the water. We're putting the coffee cup back because we're not making a coffee. By the way, this is the reason why I haven't yet done many like follow along chores, do stuff with me accountability, because as soon as I start to make it into a video, it gets unnecessarily complicated. And sometimes you've just got to live your life. Well, uh, left the house, immediately realized it's like 12 degrees, which is basically summer. Uh, so that coat was far too warm. Changed my coat, walked for a few minutes, realized that whatever is going on in my hip is more of a problem than I thought actually struggling to walk without it being in pain. Nope. Took off my shoes, kicked them to the side and then thought, put them back where they actually belong. Slippers on, looked at horizon. That's life advice, right? Where the trees meet the sky. I don't know, I just feel like it's always helpful perspective. That felt nice. Me added some thoughts. Uh, hasn't helped that much, but has helped a little bit because you know what? I think there is something in the inconsistency and all in and all out and productivity highs and productivity lows of ADHD that I feel like now I've come to understand it, it's just so freeing. Like if we kind of just deconstruct a little bit what's going on today, right, and why today isn't working for me, I really wanted to get ahead on my YouTube videos so that I wasn't just creating them on a whim or being like, oh, like I wanted to just have a bit of a schedule. I planned to do three last week. I was ill all week, so I barely did anything. And I accept that because, you know, that's how life is sometimes. And that was fine. And then this week, I had various priorities of things that I needed to do, which was creating some online course content. It was coaching clients, it was coaching consults, and it was YouTube videos. And I didn't do the YouTube videos any sooner because I was occupied with all of those other things that were more important to do i.e. I prioritise my time and now we're here on a Thursday I'm in pure Christmas spirit I don't really want to work I'm excited to be engaged in something but the idea is not translating into a video I'm torn because I really wanted to keep up on my weekly posting commitment even though it's Christmas and that's the main thing that's pulling me in, right? and also, and also because I planned out this whole thing for the next like month in terms of types of videos and what I want to do and I've got some uh, like digital products and online course that I'm like figuring out and I had it all planned out but it just wasn't sitting quite right and I haven't had the time to do it and now I'm like so what am I really just going to post a video of me faffing around trying to decide to leave out leave the house like what but I don't but and I also don't say that with any particular shame I'm kind of like whatever at this point I don't know there's obviously something that's pulling me to just not want to give up and not want to like not post something um but I don't care enough no disrespect but as in I don't <laughs> I think I'm sorry what is this I think I'm about to tell you that I trust myself enough to do what I think is right in this moment and then I'll catch up in the new year I mean, I think that's the answer. Sorry, that's just me waiting for that feeling to come that I'm like, oh, but you're failing, but you're not being consistent enough. 
and it's not there. And that is new. And I like it. And we're going to take that into the new year. And there will be more videos to come on this, but when I set up my goals, or was thinking about my goals for the new year, so far I've just written them as like a commitment. I have a commitment to YouTube. That doesn't, like, there's no, there's no indication of what that looks like. I just know that it is important. And I like the word commitment because I do not like the word consistency. And you can be committed to something without it looking outwardly like you're being consistent with it. And I think that is important. So this is my commitment to posting this video, to taking you on my mental journey, which I think seems to work from your comments. You seem to like going on that. To not getting overly in my head about what I'm supposed to be posting and not. And just like, you know what? Celebrating the year, taking stock, having a wonderful time, taking off the pressure, taking off the pressure when the pressure does not need to be there. Oh my goodness. Look at that. We really worked through something there. Thanks for coming with me. That hurts my leg. Um, <laughs> I still don't know what I'm going to do next, but I feel less tied to what it is. You know what? I know what I, wa I, know what I wanted to do. I knew what I wanted to do. I want to write. I want to write. <laughs> I want to write. But writing was not a video. So then I was like, guess we're recording a video. I'm going to go write some stuff for you and for me, but also for you. Have an absolutely wonderful Christmas and New Year. Keep being you. See you in the new year. And seeing as I'm not going outside, I can have nice tea and cake. Coffee and cake. Oh no, tea or coffee. <laughs> oh, decisions.